Hello, hello everyone. This is Man United inside again on it. Welcome back again. Sir Jim Ratcliffe has perfect first Manchester United signing, but it could depend on two things. Man United need more attacking reinforcement and have one obvious transfer option, but other areas may end up taking priority. How much sway Sir Jim Ratcliffe will have when it comes to splashing the transfer cash is unknown, but with the 71-year-old due to take over sporting control of Manchester United, it is hoped he will take the lead in recruitment. The Glazers have spent more than £400 million since Eric Ten Hag's arrival, but there's no point giving a supercar to a group of people who don't know how to drive. It is no wonder Ratcliffe is spying a boardroom shake-up given the historic transfer errors. The Inair's boss has built his fortune on being studious but bold and that is the type of mindset United have longed for. In recent years, United have been too happy to pay over the odds for players who go on to underperform, and as a result they limit their future options due to financial fare. Play Rasmus Hodgland may have scored five Champions League goals but is yet to break his Premier League duck with the season now in December. He should and will be afforded time but at 20 years old, he was never the right candidate to lead United in the immediate future, forking out £72 million may work out in the long run, but it's clear United also needs something more short-term and ready-made. And the brutal truth is that the same can be applied to £85 million Anthony, United's second highest record signing who is yet to register a goal contribution in 18 matches this season. United Chiefs have indicated they will wait until the summer for their next big transfer haul with FFP regulations restricting their freedom in January. United need to bolster several areas and perhaps another striker has slipped down the list given Casemiro's form and the need for younger centre-backs. But with Anthony Marshall destined for the exit door, the Reds will need reinforcements up top and relying on Marcus. Rashford is evidentially not a fruitful ploy. Hodgson should only really be a backup to a main striker to allow him time to build and nurture his own game. However, given the other priorities needed, Ten Hag may only have enough funds for a support act for the Dane. That would rule out a move for the ideal Ollie Watkins. The Aston Villa attacker has been in the best form of his career under Unai Emery with 14 goals in 24 matches. He is emerging as an attractive prospect and one United should be looking at, a ready-made star who is a natural finisher. In reality, the only way a chase would be sanctioned is if there are enough funds. That would mean big summer sales for the likes of Jadon Sancho and other unwanted players. Given United's traditional inability to reap healthy fees for sales, that seems unlikely, especially when other areas need strengthening. But firstly, United need to somehow grab a Champions League spot. Villa at this stage are odds on to finish above United and potentially get a top four spot themselves. If the Reds do not get a Champions League spot, they can forget about a pursuit. They may not even consider one anyway. United's poor transfer planning means they will have to make do in some areas they ideally need to strengthen. Ratcliffe's delayed arrival means his first transfer window will be the summer and perhaps he would not have had much say in January anyway. Watkins right now looks like a fantastic first statement signing but it is quite clear that other areas will take priority, especially if United fail to grab a top four spot. Man United could sign Manu's dream partner in £50 million, defensive monster, Eric Ten Hag wants to sign a new player to strengthen United's midfield. Eric Ten Hag will be disappointed with the way his team has performed this season overall, but a 0-0 draw away to Liverpool last weekend could just kickstart their campaign. Manchester United were desperate to not lose the game and displayed heroic defending, with the point putting them 7th in the Premier League after 17 matches. A huge lack of options on the bench was obvious, with the boss looking to add a midfielder to the United ranks this winter. Man United transfers latest, Joao Bohemia, according to Football Transfers, Man United are one of four Premier League clubs that are interested in bringing in Joao Bohemia this January. The Portuguese midfielder is said to be attainable for 58 million euros, 50 million pounds, this winter, with the battle for the Fulham star set to heat up. His heart is set on a move to Germany after a deal collapsed with Bayern. Munich in the summer, but he could stay in England amidst the interest of English giants. Joao Bohemia's style of play Bohemia has become one of the best defensive midfielders in the Premier League since switching to Fulham last season. 
the Portugal international has featured 14 times for the cottages in the top flight this campaign, playing a key role in their climb into 11th place. The 28-year-old is the definition of a destroyer, whose game revolves around winning the ball and stopping the opposition. It is no wonder he has been labelled a defensive monster by data and video analyst Marcus Bring. United are in desperate need of a dominant midfielder who can stop transitions and regain control for the side, and with Kobe Mainu, who has been hailed as unbelievable by club legend Roy Keane, performing like an experienced professional despite being 18 years old, Ten Hag will be looking for someone to partner the wonder kid. His current midfield teammate is Sofian Amrabat, who has struggled since moving to England, and this is how the Moroccan compares to Bohemia based on stats from the 2023-24 Premier League season. It is evident that the Fulham midfielder is far more dominant in the middle of the field and would be an upgrade on the on-loan Fiorentina man, with the former using his long legs to cover ground, make tackles, and intercept passes. He would be the perfect partner for Menu, as it relieves the youngster of some defensive duties and will allow his creativity to flourish. The duo are both extremely athletic and possess great physicality, making United a hard side to play against, which they currently are not. The only downside to Bohemia's game is the fact that he is frequently cautioned, which reduces his availability, he's already been booked seven times in the league this season. However, he rarely suffers from injuries, meaning that if he isn't suspended, he will most likely be fit to start. Overall, it is clear that Bohemia would transform the Reds' Devils midfield and help Manu blossom into a star. As a pair, they tick off every box needed to have a balanced and effective midfield unit, so the move would be a no-brainer. Man United poised to make shock move for 17-goal striker as Ten Hag eyes instant martial upgrade, Manchester United are reportedly planning a shock move to sign Galatasaray striker Mauro Icardi on a loan deal until the end of the season. The Red Devils have endured an underwhelming start to the season and currently sit in 7th place in the table, with pressure beginning to mount on manager Eric Ten Hag. One of Man United's big problems in the Premier League this season has been their lack of a clinical striker. Summer signing Rasmus Hodgland is yet to make a single goal contribution in a domestic match, despite netting five times in the Champions League. Anthony Marshall has also been heavily linked with moves away from Old Trafford, which has only increased the need for Ten Hag to bring in a new frontman in January. Several strikers have been linked with Man United in recent weeks, but a shock report has now claimed that Man United are weighing up a move for Icardi. Man United I shock move. For Mauro Icardi, according to football transfers, Man United are looking at Icardi as an option for a potential loan move in January. The 30-year-old's form has been inconsistent in recent years, but seems to be back to his best in Turkey. Icardi signed for Galatasaray from Paris Saint-Germain on an initial loan in 2022, before it was made permanent for €10 million, Euros, £8.6 million, pounds, at the start of this season. The Argentina international made 20.